Hey guys, today is leg day. Today is a tough day. Um, we're going to start out with what I'm going to call a kneeling uh, hamstring extension or you could also consider it a reverse leg curl. Um, what you want to do is get your bench, put it over here. I like to use the bench, you don't have to, but I like the extra cushion for my knees. Plus it forces me to put my legs together more. Um, put your uh, bar pretty low to where it's going to actually sit on the back of your legs with some weights. And the purpose of it is only to hold your legs down as if somebody, if you have a partner at the gym, you could do it there. Have your partner just hold your legs down like you were in elementary doing uh, sit-ups and they'd hold your ankles. Kind of the same thing. Only if you're by yourself, this is the way to do it. We're going to do four sets of eight. If you think you can do more than eight, then go ahead and do more than eight. Um, this is actually an intermediate move. If you want to make it more advanced move, um, which I normally do it at the more advanced move, you would move your bench all the way back to where you don't have anything in front of you. You would just be sitting uh, like so. And then when you go down, you'd actually go all the way to the floor and then come back up. What's important to remember when you're doing this move is that you want to keep your butt down and try to keep your back as straight as possible. If you want to even put an arch in your back to force your butt to stay down, that's fine. I have issues with keeping my butt down, so I normally do that. Anyway, three sets of, or four sets of eight is what we will do for this. Alright, so we just finished up um, our reverse curls or kneeling hamstring extensions. We're going to go ahead and do what's called a box squat. Now, normally, if you have something lower, I would suggest something a little bit lower than a regular bench. It's going to be just like what I said. You're going to take the barbell, put it up like you're fixing to do a squat, and then what you're going to do is you want to stand out a little bit, shoulder width apart, you're going to come down sit all the way down into your box or your bench, whatever it is, and then stand back up. When you're doing this, it's forcing you to use your glutes and your hamstrings a little bit more than relying on only your quads. So you want to make sure that you really sit back into it. Don't go too, too heavy. Pick a good number. Um, you won't be as able to go quite as heavy as you would on a regular squat when you're doing these. Um, we're going to do three sets of eight, so you are going to want to push yourself a bit. Leg day, music day as well. <laughs> Keep your chest up. Pause all the way when you get there. Sit. That's it. Okay, we're going to be doing Bulgarian split squats. If you don't know what that is, um, you're going to want to get, I'm using 15s, and I'm going to try to move up each time. Um, you don't have to go, again, real heavy on this, just because the way that we're doing them at the end is a challenge set. So what you're going to do is you're going to do three sets of 10. So that will be 10 on your right leg, immediately switch your legs and do 10 on your left leg. And then you're going to take about a 30 second break, and then you're going to do 10, 10, 30 second break, 10. 10, 30 second break. The last set, which is your challenge set, you're going to do 10 on that one leg. So say we're doing the challenge, okay? We just did our 10th rep. 
So then on our 11th, we're going to go down, and you're going to hold it for three seconds. One, two, three. You come up. You go right back down, and you're going to hold it for four seconds. You'll come back up. Hold it for five seconds. Come back up. And then all the way till you get to 10. So in the last one, you'll be holding it for 10 seconds, and then come back up. Then you'll repeat that challenge on this leg. So again, your legs are already really toasted by the time you get to that challenge set. And then when you're holding them, it's really hard. <laughs> so play around with your weight, see what works best for you. I'm starting with 15s. So you want to put one leg down, the other one on the bench. When you go down, you want to keep your chest up. Come all the way down to where you're at a 90 degree angle, and then use that leg that you're on to push yourself back up. Try not to use the back leg at all. You're not tired yet, you weren't going hard enough. Um, second to last move, we're going to do regular squats, but we're going to do uh, legs together squats. So it's going to be a super narrow squat. This is going to isolate more of the outside of your legs and into your glute area. Um, you want to go, again, a little bit lighter than what you would on a standard squat. Um, again, just because these are a little bit of the smaller muscle in your legs. So, uh, Mess around with your weight, see what works for you. We're only doing three sets of eight. Keep your chest up.
rock it out. The last tip that I was thinking about just right now um, is with your belt. So if you actually, a lot of, if you wear your belt whenever you do anything with legs, so theoretically for everything today, really, we really should have used our belt. The reason we do that is, is you don't want to in, contract your abs too much because then you'll end up getting too broad of a uh, core and you don't want that. You really want it to be isolated on your legs. So what I was going to suggest is if you do have your belt already, you'll normally wear it right over your belly button pretty tight. When you get ready to do deadlifts though, if you move it up to right at the bottom parts of your ribs and tighten it up to where it's actually squeezing higher up more on your lung cavity, then it'll actually, when you do your deep breath, you'll feel it really tight up here in your ribs. And for whatever reason, I don't know the scientific issue behind it, but for a reason, it gives you that little bit of power. Also, when you're doing it, wherever your grip is, squeeze your finger, squeeze your thumb. So if you have the bar like this, try to grab your thumb on the other side, or if you're gonna do a grip like this, put your fingers like this and then grab it. When you do that, it's gonna actually give you a boost of energy. Trust me, it works. Same thing goes whenever you get ready to do any kind of movement. If you're gonna do a heavy, heavy weight and you need that last little bit of adrenaline, squeeze, put pressure on your thumbs when you do it and you'll find you'll actually get that little bit of boost. So again, the one thing I just wanna say is on your belt location, if you do use a belt, instead of wearing it a little bit lower like you normally would, move it up. Put it in a little bit tighter than what you'd normally have it, and then that way when you take in that breath and you, and you swallow it, it's gonna make all of this tighten up where your core is nice and tight and everything. And again, my husband had said, I thought you weren't supposed to hold your breath when you're working out. Your breathing has a lot to do with your workout, so it's just like Pilates and everything else. So it's almost like when you're doing the hard move, you wanna breathe in. When you're coming out of it, you wanna breathe it out. So try to make your movement Hold it, and then as you come down, let it come out as you're letting the weight come down. Same thing with any kind of weight lifting that you're doing. As you're doing the heavy part, breathe it in, and as you're coming down. So you want your breath to work with the actual movement. So it's not necessarily that I'm holding it per se. Yes, you are, but it's more of you want to keep it in you to keep your core tight and everything contracted and by holding your breath you're forcing yourself to contract everything and then as you come out you can let it all out that was all i wanted to say <laughs> hope these tips help y'all um if you have any feedback let me know if there's anything else you want to see other than that this is our one week of working out with casey tats hope you enjoyed bye